so now we are not under the law, but under grace. That's in the New Testament also. So, so God came in a man and fulfilled the law in Jesus Christ and it saved us not by keeping the law, but by faith apart from the law. When our faith is in the one, in the Christ, the Messiah, his righteousness is given to us as a gift in Jesus Christ. How long was that? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. So thank you. Notice you didn't use the Bible not one time. He <laughs> mutilated Matthew 5, 17. When the laws of God come out, it doesn't settle in your spirit. You know why? Because we don't have the same spirit. No, you don't believe in the laws why, that why Moses do you think gave. That we don't believe in I know absolutely because you said we aren't to keep the That's laws. That's not what I said. You said we can't keep I the laws. I said we can't. I didn't say we're not. And does not that mean that we just say to hell with God's laws? No. no. So why aren't you wearing fringes on your clothes? Why is she in pants? So are you going to humble down to what the Word of God says that a man is to uncover his head when he's praying or prophesying? No, sir. You know why? Because you hate God. It's in your spirit. It's in your spirit to hate the Lord. You can't do the commandment. He is therefore perfect. You can't do that because Christ wasn't talking to you. He's my sacrifice. I don't need He's no my goat. sacrifice as well. Wrong. He came and died for me. Nationality. Read again, please. Read it slow. He's, Verse he's three. Ragging. For I wish that, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ. Come on. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh, meaning what? My relatives. I'm not talking about color. I'm talking about his nationality. Read. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Read. To whom pertain of the adoption? All the adoption, meaning what? Being grafted back sin pertains to who? The Israelites. Read. And the glory. All the glory that you read about. I know y'all want to get a piece of our kingdom, but guess what? That's for us. <laughs> the glory pertains to the Israelites. Read. And the covenant. All the covenants, both old and new covenants, pertain to the Israelites. Read. And the giving of the law. And the what? And the giving of the law. As we covered in Psalm chapter 147, verse 19 and 20, God gave the laws to the children of Israel. Read on. And the service of God. Read. And the promises. And Promises, come on. Whose are the fathers? Whose are the fathers? And of whom, as concerning the flesh, as whom concerning the flesh, read. Christ came. Who did Christ come for? The Israelites. Christ came for the Israelites. We don't expect you to pay attention. 
attention. We just understand that our people got to wake I've up. I've been listening That's to you for an hour. Hold on one second. I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you when I ask this. Right. I'm not, it's not an argument. It's a question. You said Understood. that our lineage, and I'll own it even though I'm one-eighth Syrian, and I believe that probably falls somewhere into the Whatever your father is. Um, you said that we, as uh, Caucasian, are speaking, spe speaking so specifically about so the so-called Caucasians. I stand here as one of them. You said that we're the devils and that we have wronged you. Right. And I understand, because I'm a history major in college, and, and I've studied this a lot, actually, about persecutions that your nationality and Hispanics and, uh, and everybody was pretty much put under. By slavery who? and all these things through us. Now let me let me right. let me speak, please. I'm listening to you. We are going to apologize for our forefathers, even though we have nothing to do with them. I don't agree with what they did. Now I want to I find a way to be at peace with all of them. Because I believe in Christ. And you say that you believe in Christ. And if we walk this path saying the same thing, one of us has to yield in some place. I want to find a place of peace with them. And I want to find a place of peace with all of them. Because we believe in Christ. And you say that you believe. Now, if that means fulfilling the law, every single jot and tittle, then we'll do that. But I believe that our fulfillment of the law is found in Christ. Now, how can I be at peace with you, and you, and you, and you, and all of you? If I say that I believe in Christ, and you do too, how can I be at peace with you? You asking me? Yes. Give me Isaiah 14, 21. Bring it out! Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Hey, listen, I understand where you're coming from. Do you want a cupcake? Hey, no, no, no. That's, that's the <laughs> they're birthday cupcake. Birth gift destroyed the heart. We don't do that. But anyway. I understand where you're coming from, and as sentimental as it was, I understand what you're trying to what you're trying to say. But understand this, sir. your people have been doing this for a long time. I have not. Hold on, hold on. Listen, your people have a track record of promises, of gifts, of lying. Now, an apology is one thing. If you're truly apologetic, if you truly are sorry for what your nation has done. You understand, you're a history major. What is it, 1865 to what, are you? Well, uh, slavery started before that. Right? I'm talking so, about as far as what history, I've, I've taken Oh, oh no, no, well, specifically, I've studied the early American uh, so, civilization. Well, prior to 1865, right? I, actually, kind of about up to 1865, beginning of the Civil War. Okay, same, same time. so you understand the carnage that the so-called white man has caused Absolutely. upon the face of the earth, right? I understand the carnage that every human being has put on that face okay. of the earth. Yeah. Biblically, you're, you're right, other nations have done that. But when we speak biblically, when God told us to do it, we was following what the Lord told us to do. There was a difference. But I understand what you're saying, but this is where we find peace. Read. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Read. Prepare slaughter for his children. Read that again. Prepare slaughter for his children. The Bible says prepare slaughter for his children, read. For the iniquities of their fathers. The reason why, when you read in Obadiah, it says the whole nation of Edom got to go. Right. Every last one. He says there shall not be one remaining from the Mount of Esau. Because right. you will never be trusted. Now, I don't know. I'm saying this because you're putting yourself in this Edomite boat. I don't know you. You I, say I you're Syrian? On behalf Fine. Of Edomites, yes. You have put so much upon the face of the earth that it has reached the eyes of God. And God has prophesied that every last one of you has to die. Well, then give me good news. I want you to want know the good news? this good news. Do you news? want the good news? Give me revelations. Because I'm going to the church. I got some good news for you. Chapter 13, verse 10. Read that, 10. That's an even better one. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leads into captivity, who led us into captivity, read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Read on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's the, sword. That's the good news. Now, again, don't think, and I know exactly how y'all feeling right now, and let them emotions go. We're not out here to fight you. We ain't gonna beat nobody up. We are dispatched by Jesus Christ himself. The good news is the children of Israel rising back up to who they are, keeping God's commandments. Stopping, stopping the murdering of us, of ourselves, stopping doing the drugs and the daggone uh, thievery amongst us, and coming back to who we are. That's why you see us out. No, no emotion, no emotion whatsoever. I That's the good news. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I, yeah, let, me, let me speak, let me speak before you get into this. Listen, read that one more time. Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Read, again, here's the good news. He that leadeth into captivity shall go 
you into captivity. There's nothing promised to any other nation besides the nation of Israel. That's so right. for you to think that there's good news, meaning I'm going to tell you something that's going to make you feel good going down the block, you're not going to find that no. here, No, no, listen, let, before, please. Okay, I, I, I like don't, I don't, listen, I, I understand exactly what you guys have been saying. I, I follow along with the scriptures. I've learned a lot about myself. I may not be able to quote them all. Right. Here's what I don't understand, though. When the Bible does talk about this good news, and we can't stay forever, obviously. I mean, I understand what you guys are doing. Right. We'd love to spit gospel back and forth, but I don't believe that will resolve any conflict. No, because we're out we here for We want to know the good news, not because... We're out here for you guys. Not because... Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. Asalaamu who? Wrong one. We're the Israelites. Hey, hey. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes, sorry. Not, not because we want uh, uh, to sort of... Get, throw ourselves in there and, and feel good as we walk down the street. No, we want the gospel to convict us and cut our hearts very deeply. That way we can repent and come to Christ. Now here's the thing. It breaks my heart to think that someone out here might not know Jesus Christ and might not experience the goodness that he does offer through his blood. Now that breaks my heart. I don't hear hearts breaking from you fine gentlemen. I hear very angry words that could convict, but they have not convicted me yet because the blood of Jesus Christ is what convicts me. That is where my hope is found. That is where your hope is found as well. Right. Now, at that note, listen, we, we've got to go. But I, listen. Right, that was that was good. But we're gonna read from Isaiah God. chapter fifty-eight and verse one. This is why you don't see that emotion. We're not. We're like yeah, Jesus no, Christ. No emotion. Christ wasn't <laughs> like that. See, the world wants you to think that Christ was this mamsy pamsy, yellow makes no. me sad, I don't hold on. That. stringy haired Edomite. That we wasn't him. That. Christ was an austere man. And he didn't play with that. the people. We're not gonna play with anybody. No, he was. He, he was told people. What did he call Peter? Yes. Angry. He called him Satan. Satan. Yeah. So when I called you the devil. No, looked at me like, well, why? Well, Peter's why response is that? when called the devil was. He got in order. Yes, right. Exactly. I'm Read. asking you how he called Isaiah, it. Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah chapter the 58 and verse 1. Read. Cry aloud, spare not. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Come on. And show my people their transgression. That's why we're out here. Now, you want us to tell you something that's going to make you feel good. The best now thing I that you can do at the end of the day is go home and hope all you can that you are not an Edomite. Because the Bible says, y'all got to go. It's not no conversation because God doesn't hear your prayers. God only hears the prayers of the children of Israel. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.